Is it the longer you hold down R, the further it goes? Is that how it works? I think it is. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get this, guys. Oh, so close. God damn it. I'm getting better. Look, I'm getting better. Oh, that was a good throw. I should have made that. Oh my god. Wanderer sucks at basketball. What can I say? Alright, we're, we're going. This is getting embarrassing. Hey survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Today we're just going to be taking a trip up to Lexington and kind of clearing it out. I was up there a little bit before, but we haven't really gone through it extensively. There's still a lot of good loot to get up here. I'm just going to kind of try to clear it out from top to bottom. Need to go and get the uh, fusion core over in the old folks' home. Uh, oh. Leave. I thought you were a mannequin for some reason because you were standing so still. I... I I saw him, I just thought he was not... Restricted area. Get lost. Can't believe I got that one. Starting now strong, okay. This is another one of those hot spot areas, just it respawns all the time. I think I've been through here already and gotten everything I want here. But yeah, it respawns all the damn time. I don't know what it is about suppressors, but they just look so badass on the end of the barrel. Just makes the gun look so much cooler in my opinion. I guess it looks more tactical or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything when you hold alt. Duh. That's the button for it in Tarkov too, and I've been playing Tarkov offline, like... Not offline in-game, but like off, off, uh... Off YouTube, haven't been playing it. Or recording or anything. Just trying to get good at it. Which is not going to happen anytime soon, but, you know, I can dream, right? And, uh, alt is the hold breath button, or at least it's my keybind in, in there for it, so it helps quite a bit whenever you're lining up your shots in there. So now it's, like, automatic again. I may end up changing some of my keybinds just to be what they are in Tarkov, because I think it's a little bit easier, a little bit more, um ergonomically friendly, I guess? I don't know. After playing it for a bit, it just makes more sense. Okay, let's get the uh, apartments done here real quick. Shouldn't take long. A $50 bill, huh? Or, no, it was $51 bills. I did check and we are stocked up on water and stuff, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh. I went insane. Uh-oh. When did that happen? 
Wow. I guess I just I did just kill like five people. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. But holy cow, already, huh? Gonna have to go and see Buddy pretty soon. Should have some stuff for us. Okay, nice bed here. Gotta remember, nice bed in Lexington's apartments. If I want to sleep somewhere in Lexington, which I probably will stay up here for the night. I've got enough food and water. I should be okay to stay here. Okay, there's that. Um... Where to next? There's a, there's a drugstore over here somewhere. That has some good chems in it. Uh, it's on like this uh, south, kind of the southeastern side of town over here, I think. Yeah, right over here. Chem store. I think I was through... Maybe not, there's a Braxo here. Let me grab this real quick. No, I wasn't through here. Never, never mind. Six freaking missiles. All right. Six missiles. Kind of random. That's going to be like all my carry weight if I want to take him back. I don't know if I'll really need that many missiles. Most places where I'm going to go that I'm going to use missiles, there'll be um, missile launching sentry bots and stuff that we can take out. Like if we go to Fort Hagen, for instance, there'll be a bunch of, uh, be a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but there'll be a sentry by at least one. Some medics and jet cigarettes. Buff out two, I think. These guys were dosing up as the bombs fell because, you know, that guy trying to take some radix. Probably just like, probably just uh, gulping down those radix, trying to keep himself from irradiating to death. Didn't help, obviously. Also been looking at a new game called Mortal Online 2. If you've if you've played it, or if you've been watching a lot of it on stream, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'm I'm curious what you guys think. It seems like an open world MMO version of like a very very hardcore uh, Skyrim or like Kingdom Come Deliverance slash Skyrim, and that definitely interests me. It's just. Um, I don't really have time for another game right now. Like, I'm enjoying Tarkov. I'm enjoying my, my Frost playthrough. Elden Ring is coming out, you know, in like a couple weeks, I think. So, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know that I'm going to really have time for anything else. Here I have been through. I feel like I'd, I'd pick it up and then play it for like maybe an episode or two to try it out. And that'd be about it. I think we went up through here already as well. Um, there's an area I want to check though. Oh right, the uh, the basketball court. Right, so the basketball court, and then up beside it. I'm gonna run. I don't care, I can waste a little bit of fusion course on a big deal. All the way to hungry. Pekka just uh, snuck right by me. Making sure I got everything up here real quick. Yeah, I got all the tar berries. Those are tar berries are pretty valuable. Out of booze. That's okay. Why are we using the scoped weapon? So yeah, basketball court, uh, and then there's a big tall building beside it. Up here is the home with the fusion core. I'm not going to grab it just yet because those missiles are already weighing quite a bit on me. 
I think a weight reduction perk for heavy weapons would be kind of nice in Frost. You know, like, maybe get it behind strength, like a high level of strength. Reduces the, uh, the weight of heavy weapons and heavy weapon ammo by, like, 50% or something. Could be a really useful thing to do endgame, because heavy weapons just aren't, I mean... And they really, they shouldn't be viable to be used, like, all the time. I mean, they're just... They're overpowered, and they're just, you know... It's not like in regular Fallout. We're, we're playing Frost, which is more immersive. I don't think that it is necessary to make them, like, usable all the time, but... They should be a bit more, like, if you're in, like, say if you're in power armor, you should be able to carry them a bit better. Okay, where the hell is this place I'm thinking of? Whatever, I'll find it eventually. I guess I have enough room for that fusion cargo. get it real quick. That way. Actually, no, I won't. Out there. I'll clear this out real quick. Ooh. Ouchies. Trying to peek this guy without getting the uh, turret. That was a tough turret, man. A lot of damage. I think I'll wait to get that power armor, uh, to get another power armor, the, um, the fusion core. Rather use up my current core pretty much and then, uh, be able to stash it somewhere. Not be carrying around that extra 10 weight forever. Nice stim pack. Not bad. Wow, 9 50 cal rounds. I still rarely use 50 cal in frost though because of the slow fire rate it's just such it's such low dps because of the very low fire rate i mean yeah it'll take somebody take somebody's arm off cut him in half whatever but okay, there's a cooking bench here um i'm gonna go ahead and cook some stuff real quick if i have the stuff for it do have some food i can cook real quick i think or not i don't have the wood do i I gotta find some wood. Okay. That's alright. Just making a mental note to pick up a couple pieces of wood wherever we get them. Could probably drop some off here for now, too. Just kind of keep it here. Those are weighing me down quite a bit. We can come back here later and pick all that stuff up. Take what we want back with us. Here we go. There's the basketball court. I'm getting kind of low on food. Should find some stuff in Corvega, I would think. 
maybe a couple things around uh, Lexington. There's, there's not a lot in Lexington, though. Like, there's not a lot of food. Play some hoops. Oh, that was that was a weak throw. Come on. Maybe I'm just not very very strong. Ooh. Okay. Is it the longer you hold down R, the further it goes? Is that how it works? I think it is. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get this, guys. Oh, so close. God damn it. I'm getting better. Look, I'm getting better. Oh, that was a good throw. I should have made that. Oh my god. Wanderer sucks at basketball. What can I say? Alright, we're, we're going. This is getting embarrassing. Should be a lady in some power armor up here. Though I don't know, a lot of things have gotten changed with the updates to Frost. I don't know if, if all that stuff is like guaranteed to be the same now. What the hell was that? Now she's here. <laughs> Wasn't taking any chances with that. Just gonna spray it and pray pretty much. Okay, just some Raider power armor. Nothing crazy. Hello? Light? There we go. Wouldn't turn on. They should have a journal for this uh, person, I would say. Someone should write some lore this person because it's you know you don't see people in power armor very often I mean I just turned your I turned your guts into a pile of guts didn't I sorry about that lady good lord they should, they should write a story about uh, how she's got a skeleton under her bed and uh, all the dead people maybe they betrayed her and uh she tracked them down and took care of business, you know? Brought him back here and strung him up as a reminder. It's gonna stink, though, man. It's gonna stink. I think we're too far away to actually snipe anything from here. I think we're at, we're in like a LOD generation range for Corvega. Which is unfortunate because you definitely could snipe from here. Now we got the pre yeah, so now it's loaded properly. And yeah, we weren't we weren't seeing it before properly. I'm wasting ammo out here. Really bad. Oh, just get closer. We are a walking tank after all. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, get up there and get some get some Corvega cleared out.
I saw liquor. I had to stop. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I bought. That's worth a hundred dollars. I think I'll take the, uh, the pipe route going in here. Should probably take some Psycho, too, just to make my bullets last a while. Can always do melee as well, but... This turret coming up here especially... Though... There we go. That's one way to take care of that. Bring it, tin can. Ah, damn it! You killed him. My arm. Ah. Hold on, I want to get a save in, a real save here. Not a quick save; it'll get overwritten. I want to come in here and take screenshots later on. <laughs> Nice, some 308. I need 308 pretty bad. We're almost out in this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and use a stim pack too. That's a tough engagement to go through that door. Just not a fun time fighting people over there. Very cool lighting in here. And all the mist and stuff too. Makes very nice screenshots. I think that was my... Yeah, it's my last grenade. I'm not going to use my fusion grenade in here. It's going to be way overkill. Didn't feel a thing. I have to cook some food so I can get that full hunger taken care of. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Show your face. Come on! I dare you! Loot on, you better be worth it! Ah! Knew there was somebody down below. Not worth risking. You'll run out of bullets at some point. Ah! 
Whoa. Bunch of experience. Really annoying to get a good, uh, a good line on that guy. And he was, like, just smacking me from down here. Yeah, I guess he's got a pretty good angle down here. To shoot at me from down there. It's pretty good. Not good enough, though. Master lock, eh? I guess you can't get in here with the uh, key anymore from the guy that spawns by Corvega because he doesn't actually spawn anymore, so. Decent combat shotgun. Might keep that around. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That one has a better... That is a, like, higher grade ammo box or something in the main game. Sweet. Seems like that transfers over to here as well. Some more frag grenades, get those bound. Oh, let's see here, it's crap, 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 more crap. Not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Got the combat shotgun I can fall back on if I need to. It's probably my best bet for in here. Close range. You can scope them, which makes them much more accurate. This is just aluminum. Two aluminum each, though, is pretty good. I need aluminum to repair power armor. So... Makes sense to make a good haul of that stuff back and... Just have our uh, our power armor just like be nothing but coolant caps, pretty much. Just a bunch of patched coolant caps. Okay, we can go up now if we want to, but I want to clear out either areas first before I go to the very top. Might be a water filter in here, you never know. The red uh, toolboxes tend to have those. Got it. Otherwise, I'd almost say it's not worth my time, but yeah, that's pretty worth it. This light annoys the utter hell out of me. Where's that? keep dropping these plasma cartridges, man. None of you have any plasma rifles. I'm gonna have so many plasma cartridges when I get... Like, when I'm ready to actually switch to it. Keep 
your eyes open! Think this asshole's using the stealth one. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Stealth was are pretty OP in uh, Fallout 76. Can I not get through here? There we go. Let's see if I couldn't get through there in power armor, that'd be a real bummer. But uh, cause I don't really want to get out right now. Am I still insane after that vodka? Yep, we are, unfortunately. Do I have any uh, good chems I could use? Thorazine or just mint? Mint hats, I guess, would be okay. I kind of want to have full Sandy. Well, not full, but I want to have Sandy in here. Man, she told him what was what. Shut up and get back to your patrols. Survivor. The spread on this thing is... It's pretty monstrous. The spread is just so bad. It's so much like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, really? Only like 20 experience for that? Okay, that one was good. See, why couldn't that one proc? That would have been a, like a thousand experience. Both, both of them real big boys. That's fine. Nice EXP. Okay. We'll check out the kitchen area, the office area over here. I think we can go upstairs. Pretty much pretty sure we're done. What the hell was that? Used up all of his ammo. Makes me sad. Find a 
of it, Kellogg! Shoulda just run! Playing games with me, huh? This thing's just not worth it, man. And I want to use the ammo up on it. But I'm not saying the spread's too much. I'm just not getting enough pellets on target. Even if I aimed, I don't think it'd be very good. Scared, huh? You should be. There's some wood. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. I knew that was there too. I I just I saw I saw a Nuka Cola machine and I had to loot it. I knew it was there, I just like forgot in the moment there. Just checking, pretty sure this is dirty water, but I just want to make sure. Yep. Yep. There's one more area. Um... I think it's up the stairs. Come on. Getting old. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. I'm not confident I can hit that shot. Could you please come over into line of sight? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, where's the turret at? Hey! Who's out there? There it is. Show your face! Come on! I dare you!
the hell is the last turret at? I know there's one more around here. Survivor there. Is there not one more turret? Yeah, there is. Thought so. Couldn't get an angle on it. Screws and aluminum on those. Ooh, these are way better. Actually, the hubcaps are way better. I'm gonna take all these. Two screws, two aluminum each. That's a really, really good uh, piece of junk. Thank God. The, the lights are the most annoying things in this game. Ooh. Had a flamer, huh? Those are nice because even if I'm not going to use them really anymore, um, the ammo sells for a lot. And you get a lot of it every time you get a flamer. You get a whole bunch. Though that guy didn't have very much. Usually you get a lot more than 50 or so. You usually get about 100 plus. I will get the uh, protector out here too. Two guys always spawn over there when you go up here and do the terminal and stuff whenever you go up through here. Just a part of the, the base game, unless they've removed it for some reason. I don't know why they would. They go. Really? That has clipping. You can't shoot through it. That is stupid. Okay, so this is where Six Nails Duvall was out of. One of these guys must have been Six Nails Duvall. Maybe it was this guy? Maybe it was this guy? I don't know. Oh, I can't read it in power armor. Okay, I want to read the lore, though. Give me a second. Let's see here, a new sheriff in town. Everything we've been working for these five years has finally paid off. We took Lex Station like it was nothing, killed their leaders quick, and the rest gave up easy. Now I just need to figure out what we're going to do with all the survivors. Workforce. I've put the captured inhabitants of Lex Station to work in the tunnels. They're a pretty lifeless bunch, but with enough hands you can get anything done. Plenty of scrap to be salvaged down there, and once they've cleaned it up nicely, I may set them to work building defenses. I'd like to turn this place into a real fortress. Relocation. Had to move out of Lex Station. I can't explain it. I'm just getting a bad feeling from that place. Bad dreams, strange noises. I'm not going to spend another spend another second down there if I don't need to. The slaves will stay for now, along with a small number of guards. On shifts, no one else wants to be down there either. Everyone else is taking up residence in Lexington proper. Some of these buildings are still fairly insulated. Okay, so that's why he was not there, because he was getting a bad feeling about being down there. Liberators attack. I have known some of these guys since the beginning, back when they were all white color pricks with their reading glasses and their pocket protectors. Me, I was a smuggler. I rode with the toughest of them. Ship went down in the firestorm and spit me out here, and I've been working to keep these fuckers alive ever since. Thing is, though, I think my work here is almost complete. Okay, so... He says he was a smuggler, 
rolled with the toughest of them, and his ship went down in the firestorm and spit him, spit him out here. So... Al Duvall, I guess he was he part of the uh, the smuggling crew on the Libertalia, or was he a different smuggling crew? Doesn't really say. I guess we'll we'll read more. Another gang came through about a week back. Had some fancy idea of taking back Lex Station, talking about liberation. I guess I was feeling generous with some shit, but I went to talk with them. Well, shit went down. They're spraying lead everywhere, and I'm doing my best, but I'm pinned down behind their dumpster. One of them, this big thuggo man, covered head to toe in plate metal comes barreling down towards me. Before I know it, old Four Eyes McGee is there with a pipe wrench and a Molotov. Fucking rips the guy to shreds, and the others were, weren't were far off. Samson and Delilah were tagged their leader, and Smithy took three hunting dogs single-handedly. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They grew up so fast. Liberty. Hearing whispers of another big settlement above ground out on the coast, Liberty 6. Yeah, I know. What's the, what are the chances? If he's still alive, no, no way. I've got enough to deal with. Was Six Nails the guy that betrayed? Uh, there was like a betrayal story at the Libertalia. I don't remember all of it though. Which goes into the main story. It, 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 it comes into play in the main story of Frost. Did Al Six Nails Duvall betray them? I feel like he might have. Okay. Good lore there, good information. Whenever I make my way to Libertalia as part of the main story, I'll have to uh, try to keep that in mind and see if I can figure out if Six Nails was involved in some way in that place initially. Could just read the wiki, I'm sure, but you know. I'd like to try to piece these things, these things together for myself, draw my own conclusions if I can. Can't talk today, apparently. Nice 308 round. And where's our other one that got blown up? Sorry, buddy. He's a DB tech boy. Get this robot out here too, real quick. Oh, the novice terminal's the hardest sometimes. I'm going to get the safe while I wait for that thing to reset. Nothing much that valuable there. I could mine up. I don't have any mines beside my nuclear one. I could mine up the uh, Protectron too, but seems like overkill. That's it. There we go. Gosh, that was hard for some reason. Powering up Protectron on duty. I don't know why, but I think this is a nice. Uh, I want to save here. I think this guy looks cool. I could make a nice screenshot of him over there for some reason. Well, that was effective, I suppose. Okay. Alright, guys. Well... Jeez. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go probably on the outside now and clean up the uh, upper area. Get our bobblehead and stuff on the top. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.